Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the postbags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat thinks he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock. Bring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Now then, Jess, it's a rough old day. Dig your claws in, hold tight. Don't worry, we'll get the post through all right. Now, children, as you know, tomorrow is our field trip. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, are we going to the zoo? No, not this time, Sarah. We're going to find things out about a railway. We're going to look at the old Greendale train station. Wow! My dad says that's been shut since before he was born. But when your granddad was a boy, Julian, there used to be a steam train line that ran from Pencaster to Greendale. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, I know something about steam trains already. So do I. They make a noise like this. Woo-woo! 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 Morning, everybody. Post. Hello, Pat. What a windy day. Look out, Jess. <coughs> Jess, <coughs> my letters. <coughs> gotcha. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> Bet you've never caught a cat before. I hope I don't have to catch another. Oh, Jess, you are scratchy. Sorry about that, Sarah. Now, Jess, say thank you. <coughs> We'd better be off. I think it's going to be a slow job today, getting around in this windy weather. Bye, everyone. Cheerio. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Writing, Julian. It's homework, Mum. I'm writing to a pen pal. Her name's Mira, and she lives in Pencaster. I'm telling her about my trip to Greendale Station Hello. tomorrow. That railway line used to bring the post in from Pencaster. Should think it's in a right old state by now. <coughs> yes, Jess, I'm sending her a photo of you. Now then, follow me, everybody. <laughs> now, I want you to have a good look round and make a list on your clipboards of all the things you see that make this a station. Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle, you mean, like, the platform, Mr Pringle? There you are, everyone. 
Sarah's given you your first item. Off you go and see what else you can find. Oh, I wonder what's in there. Let's go and see. Look, try that gap down there. Have a look in. I wonder what that is. Let's go and get Mr Pringle. Train! Would you look at that? Greendale... Rocket! I bet it's the old mail train my dad told me about. Oh, from the weight of it, Ted. I'd say these were the new hammers you sent away for. About time. Now I'll be able to Dad, do all those Dad, jobs I... Dad! Dad! We found the Greendale rocket! You never have. Wait, it was just standing there in a shed? It must have been left there after the line closed. My gum, I'd like to take a look at it. I wonder if it's the one my dad used to ride on. Maybe we could get it working again. Now there's a challenge if I ever heard one. Bye, Dad. Cheerio, Julian. I wonder... Well, I've been to the station with Pat and given her a good look over. I know I can fix that train. I just know it. It isn't just the train, Ted. It's the station. It's been shut for years. Well, the roof and walls are sound. All it needs is a lick of paint and a bit of weeding. I'd certainly be happy to volunteer. See? The Reverend's willing. A project to make work for idle hands. Uh, not that I'm suggesting yours are idle, my dear. So, all those in favour of bringing the Greendale Light Railway back to Greendale say aye. 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 Doors. The Green Day Rock is coming right again. We'll be back on track once more. Well, the children are painting on the platform. Ted and Pat are working on the train. Everybody's here to lend a hand To get the wheels turning again So we're fixing, we're fixing up that engine And the station will open up its doors The Greendale Rocket's gonna ride again We'll be back on track once more Now then, Pat, ready when you are. Stand by, everyone. What's wrong, Dad? I've no idea. What's up with it, Ted? I don't know. It should be working. But it's the grand opening next week. What are we going to do without a train? Oh, I'm sorry, lad. I know you're disappointed about the train. I thought Ted could fix it. 
So did he. He knows a lot about mending things, does Ted. But this steam train, well, it's got him beat. If only there was someone we knew who could help us. Someone who really knows about trains. Mmm, someone who knows about trains. Morning, Ted. What's that banging? Hello? Who's there? Morning. Oh, you must be Pat. Aye, that's me. I'm Ajay. Your Julian is my last mere as pen pal. He wrote to me, asking for help with the train. He knew, see. Knew what? I'm mad about steam trains, me. Always have been. I know all about them. Mira must have told him. When I got his letter this morning, saying it were urgent, I came over right away to have a look. That's very kind of you. No trouble. I couldn't resist starting work on her. I hope that's all right. All right. It's marvellous. Welcome aboard, Ajay. Thanks. Come and look at this. I think I found the problem. Must be him. Hello. Are you Julian? Yes. I'm Mira. Hi, Mira. And that's me mum and my baby brother, Nikhil. Hello. 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 What beautiful flowers. Oh, thanks. I'm Sarah, Julian's mum. I'm Nisha. The station looks beautiful. <laughs> well, it was a lot of work, but it's been great fun. Are you coming to the grand opening tomorrow? Oh, yes. Although it won't be much fun if it rains, huh? <gasps> Dad! Dad, we're here! Hello, sweetheart. Well, here she is. The Greendale Rocket. What do you think of her? Oh, she's gorgeous. We're just about to get up steam. Stand back. Again. Oh no, here comes the rain. Home time, Julian. Ajay, we need to get the children back to Pencaster. You go, Nisha. We're going to stay and fix the rocket. Okay, see you at home. Bye, everyone. Jess! He probably stayed at the station with your dad. But it's so wet, he'll hate it. Jess is a sensible cat, Julian. He knows how to take care of himself. Here, I made you some hot chocolate to warm you up. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Hello, where did you come from? That's Julian's cat, Jess. I'd better phone and let him know Jess is safe. The phone's not working. Must be the storm. Well, it's too late to take Jess home now. We'll take him tomorrow when we go for the grand opening. Great! 
bet you'd like some milk, wouldn't you, Jess? Meow. Don't worry, Julian. Jess will be fine. You will look out for him on your rounds, won't you, Dad? I promise. Thanks, Dad. See you later. Bye. Have a good day at school. Oh. Morning, Mrs Goggins. Oh, what a day. Oh, I... I suppose you've been up all night, like Ted and Adji, working on the rocket. I left them to it, but they reckon they'll have it fixed in time for the grand opening. Surely you'll not have a grand opening in weather like this. <laughs> It'd be more like the grand soaking. Anyway, I'd better get on with my deliveries. Um, where's the post? Well, I think it must be held up at Pencaster because of the storm. I've just tried ringing the sorting office, but the phones aren't working. Don't worry. I'll go fetch it in my van. Oh, no, Pat. It's no a good idea, you driving about in this weather. I'll be fine, Mrs Goggins. The post always gets through. Oh, dear. Floods everywhere. This is no good. I'll try over by Thompson Ground. Oh, no. Uh, I know. everywhere. How am I ever going to collect the post? One of the heaviest storms in living memory, most of the roads out of the valley are now flooded and impassable. More rain fell in the last 24 hours than is usual for the whole month, and unfortunately, the weather shows no sign of abating. Due to these freak storm conditions, the River Pen has burst its banks, cutting off Greendale Village from the outside world. Oh, dear. No wonder your dad didn't come home last night. How will we get to the grand opening? I'm not sure they'll have it in this weather. Oh? <sighs> At least Jess will be able to stay a bit longer. Oh, it's no good, Mrs Goggins. It looks like every road's flooded. Oh, well. At least you tried, Pat. Oh, I can't believe there'll be no post today. I've never missed a delivery, ever. Oh, dear. We'll have to cancel the grand opening. Who'd want to stand about watching a steam train in this weather? Mrs Goggins, that's it. Oh, I've always said... A storm sends folk a wee bit loopy. Adji! Ted! Are you there? Ted! Adji! In here, Pat. Come on. Up you come. You're just in time. We've done it! That's champion. Have we got enough coal for a journey? Plenty! Why? The Greendale rocket's going to be a mail delivery train again. We don't need an open road on our rocket train. We can keep on moving through the wind and rain. We don't need an open road just a set of rails. Picking up the mailbags to take them to Greendale. Nisha? In here! Dad! 
How did you get back from Greendale? On the train. Hello, Nisha. He's done a fantastic job, has your Ajay. Meow, meow. Jess, what are you doing here? He stowed away in our buggy. I've been looking after him. Thank you. Meow. He looks grand. Anyway, love, I just wanted to let you know I was okay. We better be off. Ajay, you look really tired. You're not going out again already? Sorry, love. I have some very important business to attend to. We've a mail train to run. <laughs> Julian will be pleased as punch to see you, Jess. But you're a naughty lad stowing away like that. Still, it's good to have you back. And thanks to Ajay, now I can deliver my post too. The Greendale Rocket rides again. The Greendale Rocket. Are we nearly there, Pat? The letters are really getting wet with all this rain. Hang on, Ajay. Not much further. We can dry them out when we get to the post office. Who would have thought three sacks of mail would take up this much space? Looks like you'll be doing a moonlight delivery, Pat. I will by the time I get these letters dry. Still, it's better than no delivery at all. <coughs> Careful, Jess. We've got to get home. Sorry about this, Arthur. Don't worry, Pat. Better late than never. Sorry it's late, Reverend. At least it's arrived, Pat. I sense that today the post has moved in mysterious ways. Come on, Julian. Time for bed. Can't wait up until Dad gets back. He might have found Jess. Oh, Julian. Look, love. Anyone home? Dad! Did you find... <coughs> Jess! Where was he? <laughs> it's a long story. Nearly ready. Thanks, Ajay. Well, it's been a long job as this. Worth it, though. And at last we're having the grand opening. Would you like to try one of these? Oh, they look delicious. More tea, Vicar? Oh, yes, please. The good Lord really has provided today. I wish you didn't live so far away. Me too. But we're moving soon to... Like Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And you, Jess. Before I cut this ribbon and declare the Greendale Light Railway open, I want to thank Ted and Ajay for all their hard work. And I'm especially pleased to announce that Ajay and his family have decided to move to Greendale and help us run the railway. That's brilliant! Wonderful! Oh, Absolutely oh, that's wonderful! Beautiful. That's what I was going to tell you! We're moving from Pencaster to Greendale! That's great! So, with no more ado, I declare the Greendale Light Railway open! Hooray! 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 All aboard for the Greendale! 